an interview with Rain Narva. Interviewer, Irv Joel. Recorded August 12, 2002. Yeah, you know, Les Paul approached me, you know, he needed a, a much more sophisticated console, mixing console and so on. But actually he approached me because he had just gotten a new 8-track recorder from Ampex. And uh, <laughs> it didn't work well. Um, and, you know, I had met him previously because I think I also modified some microphones for him and and, and so on. Anyway, um, it, you know what he did and what he did. Anyway, what he did then, uh, you know, since it it had the same problems and, and actually worse problems than the 300 had. This was a much cheaper electronics and they had sort of, they had grossly ignored the second order distortion products of the uh, uh, of the bias oscillator and uh, so there was a, a, a large amount of uh, call it the equivalent of a DC bias in a recording system and when you had to these were narrower tracks and um, uh, any uh, unbalanced forces as you know causes a lot of low frequency uh, noise. Anyway, so I, I did some relatively simple modifications to the product and said the things that Ampex had to do. So we sent it back to Ampex to ask him to do the balance of the modifications. But it, at least it, it became usable. This 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 recorder for him. And then he had already known about the consoles, so he asked me to to build now one much more complex <laughs> recording studio system for him because he needed all of the, uh, this output now had to be eight channels. 